right, so here we are in week seven, <laughs> quickly coming to the end of our time uh, together. So I've, as I indicated before, if you heard me, hopefully you did, talk about that I'm going to change up a little bit the way we're going to handle the bootstrap uh, lectures. Because after looking at the bootstrap um, lectures, thinking about doing three or four, and then just really thinking about wanting you to get more hands-on with it, I'm taking a different approach. So this will just cover the Monday night items. So uh, what you need to be doing right now is taking notes in your classwork, okay, uh, in your, sorry, different class, scratch that, in your lecture document, uh, just for how I will cover uh, what you need to do here, okay, so just, just be class topics, and then I'll show you at the end what you're going to need to uh, submit, but basically you're going to end up submitting your GitHub link, okay? All right, so I've changed up the order this week. I want you to do it in this order because doing this before you do this, because we're going to end up creating a CDN. So what is a CDN? Uh, we've got it covered a couple times on the lectures, but a content delivery network. So where you would refer to a CSS file on your local system you're going to refer to, and it could be CSS files, it could be JavaScript files that are out on some content delivery network. And it just makes doing at least a first round of things e easy, you know, just easy to set it up. But the way I'm going to have you do it um, is I'm going to have you create a CDN version of the Bootstrap page. Okay, so but since we've covered branches, I think it'd be kind of good to do this. So we're going to create a branch. Uh, I called mine Learn Bootstrap. I almost called it Learn BS, <laughs> but then I just okay, I didn't. Uh, but this will be a branch that we do not merge back in to our master. Okay, so we'll just leave it standalone as it is. Okay, so um, and then we'll sh I'll walk you through how to set that up. And then you'll just uh, f follow along and then you'll give me uh, your new uh, branch link on GitHub. Okay, so let me should walk you through this. So again, a few notes here. I'm going to switch over to Windows. Uh, so uh, the first thing I did, and you, you, I suspect you've seen this in Boot, in uh, Visual Studio Code, I'm, I moved over to Windows real quick, is there's always two ways to do things, right? Uh, so uh, first thing I, I did, scroll up a little further just to show you is I uh, does it not have it any further up where I actually created it oh actually that's because what I did yeah so I did it this way so I did just decide to play around with the different ways to do so down here in the bottom what I did is I just said create branch and then I called it the branch that I whatever and you can create a name here I don't care what it is Right, so know what it's going to do, though, is that it's going to take whatever code you have uh, in your master, and it's going to assume you're going somewhere else. You're going on a branch with this code. And in this case, we're going to create a branch that you do not, uh, you are not going to merge back into the main, or back into your master. So I think, let me see if I can just move back to the master, because I don't think I, yeah, I don't have anything. And by the way, I, I figured this out in the process is that you can't really check out until you've committed the changes into the branch. So just if you run into that. So here's the status of the index file that we had. Okay. So then when you create your branch and you change to your branch, it'll basically be this. And what I ended up doing was basically, and you could actually take out everything that's in here, right? Now don't do it until you move to your branch, right? Because right now, and just keep this in mind, right, so your GitHub I.O., right, so this is still what's out there on your GitHub I.O. right now. And what we're doing is not going to modify this because this is what you will end up modifying in the subsequent uh, work uh, in order to have the start of your project zero. But for here, basically what we're going to do is code along to, for the lecture, okay, so just to contextualize that concept so make sure you've noted that okay so like I said I there, there's two ways to do it right where you create your branch and then you check out the branch that's good but I thought I'd play around with how to do it here 
Um, and so what I did, uh, once I created my branch, then I just moved into my branch. And then I took that file that was there, the old one, and I got rid of most of it. Uh, there's a couple ways you could do this. Uh, I think it's always good. Uh, one thing you can do is control A, right? Delete it. Uh, I'm not going to, but you could. And then uh, if you know your uh, Emmet commands, if you, I've shown them a little bit, right? So uh, if you were to do that, I guess I am doing it, and hit tab, that creates that basic page for you. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Um, and then what you're going to do, and I'm going to give you, show you these links. So what I did is I searched for Bootstrap, and I searched for, and I selected. Let me just show you that. As I search for Bootstrap, and what I notice is that even from the last time I recorded last week, um, they actually have moved now uh, into beta. It was alpha before. So Bootstrap 4. So again, if you want to use Bootstrap 4, you're welcome to do that. I'm just going to use Bootstrap 3.3 only because I think it's still the most, it's the most mature version. And we're at 3.37. So once you get, right, so when you go to the Bootstrap, you have to actually select up here, right? So you can, this is where you can see beta had just been released. So we're, I'm going to choose version 3.37. Right, and you can tell from the URL that's where you're at. And then if you hit get started and you scroll down, um, and you're going to see actually uh, when you do the lecture for this week how he will have you download it. But even then, you can skip over and do exactly what I've done here. Uh, or actually, just leave this document. And you don't have to do that step unless you want to. So there's going to be two things. We have a sh we have a sheet, a style sheet reference, okay, and this is delivered to us through the CDN. Right, so that's why I wanted to show you that. They do give you an alternative where you can use a bootstrap theme if you want. We're going to actually end up doing themes later, so I thought well, I'll just stick with the pure version. So I just copied that, right? And I just copied that and I went into my code, and that's what I pasted up in the head section, right? So that gave me that section. And then another piece you'll need here is you also need the um, JavaScript. Uh, Minified. So MIM is Minification. So what you do here is you grab that and if you remember where we put this, I don't know if we've talked about it too much, but you go then and you put it right before the end of your body and you put that code in there. Okay, so now uh, at that point you could actually look at your file and that's what I realized that because we've now moved to this, we um, that work we did on the task JSON I hadn't redone here so I thought okay Hopefully you've done it. If you haven't, go back and check it out. But let me show you another way you can easily do this because we don't really need any server side stuff for this. So the other way you could, now what, what basically what I'm talking about is looking at this file, uh, looking at this file uh, rendered in a web page. And because I haven't, in this case, recreated that task.json that I had you do a week back, I'm just going to show you an alternative way that you can do this. So what I did is I went into my directory. Okay, and then I had my browser open. So what I did is I grabbed, I have a new, and you don't have to have a new tile, but you can do it either way. You grab the actual file and then you just drop it in and that will render the file, uh, render the uh, HTML uh, into the browser. Okay, so that's the other way, uh, you know, just good. There's always multiple ways to do anything. And, and again, the reason we can do this is there's not a need for us to have a, a server. And, but it also does, and you can tell this by looking at the reference here, right? That's why it is good to do it the way we had before. And if you want to go back and get that, you can totally open that, right? Open that folder we had done before um, here, and you can actually go back into that directory and pull that JSON, task JSON file and pull it back. Okay, so that's just showing you those things. Okay, so now the only thing, and I just, I played around for just a few minutes and I did a div uh, class Jumbotron. I did uh, bootstrap uh, cheat sheet because that's ultimately what you're going to do in lecture. I did an H1 in there and I just started doing an OL. And again, I just, this doesn't matter, right? All, most of what I want you to do is just have something on the page so you can see how mine rendered, okay? So now once you do that, 
now we're going to now we're going to actually do the steps where you add it, right? So once you get that basic page and you can tell by looking at it if you got the references right because it will look, right? Let's get the jumbotron to see if you're getting jumbotron, right? Is this idea of this big and it's a little hard to see on this screen. But it gives you this big hero size uh, in, uh, div up on the in this case wherever you put it. You could put a little padding around it so that you could see that. But really this step is really just getting you set up to do the lecture. Okay. So then what you'll do is your normal get add, right? So I added it. And then when I went to push it, I go, oh, okay, this is good. So what happens here is when you go to push and you'll get this same error, what you have to do is tell it get um to that you're actually pushing to an what they call an upstream. Uh, an origin, right? And I'm going to put it on my um, new branch. So it actually basically is creating the branch up on GitHub to place your code. Okay, so let me just show you that because what you'll end up giving us is a link. So when you go to your GitHub, well, let me just go back here and go to master. So normally when you go to your GitHub, this is what you see, right? This is what is rendering your hello world right now or whatever you have in there that you played with from past semesters or past work. So here you just change to your new branch and then that gives you here, right, your new branch uh, that we are now working on that we are not going to merge. Let me say that again and make sure that goes in your notes. We are not going to merge back into the master because we're just going to leave this here so that in case you want to reference it, you'll have it. Now here, uh, this does not render out to that I.O. Uh, directory because only the master does. It used to actually be called GitHub Pages, which I know that's still a branch somewhere, but right now, uh, right, it, on, it only renders what's in the master branch out to your I.O. Okay, all right, so going back that, so once you do that, right, so once you do that, uh, now once you've pushed it, now for this first one, all you'll need to do is give us a link right to your branch right so you copy that and place that into the discussion for this first item so now that you've done this okay so that's what you need to do normal replies and all that for that item so now what we're going to do is actually start the lecture so now uh, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you watch the first uh oh I modified this at home huh. hold on Well, that was fun. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> I did it this morning, but anyway, I just did it again. So now you're ready to start the lecture. Okay, so what you'll do is watch or actually code along from the beginning. Uh, and actually in the very beginning, now actually in the very beginning, just in the very first part, he does go over a few concepts that I want you to include in your lecture doc. Okay, and then he actually around about seven minutes starts into the code along. So just make sure you have those few notes in there. And by the way, this um, is one of my favorite YouTubers that I watch. He's great. I really think he's very thorough and explains things very well. So then when you code along, you'll go all the way to 32, uh, about right here where he ends to start talking about buttons. And then we're going to do another section. We'll see how much I'm going to go through this section because I looked in here. Now the thing about this though is I want you to have at least two commits that you do. Okay, so I think there's a place in here where he starts to switch from talking about uh, containers, right? So then he op and then he goes into uh, talking about just and really when you learn Bootstrap, what you're learning is classes. Okay. Um, that's really what you're learning is like how do you what are the classes and what do they do to your code right so make sure somewhere along here you do a commit right so the other thing besides doing this um, doing this 32 minutes is I want at least two commits somewhere in here you get to decide where that you've done in your code along right so uh -oh, wrong one so sorry um, let me go back to my windows and just make sure you're understanding what I mean here is that now when you code along through here right periodically two places in this 30 minutes that you're gonna do do some commits now you don't have to do your push 
until the end but I once you once you give me the link to your your branch on github then I can see the commits that you've done and that shows me the code that you wrote and for those commits okay so make sure you have at least two points that during watching this um, you know are coding along right so you'll take a few notes you'll start coding along around here you'll code all the way to 32 and I think in here I showed yeah they're about 32 minutes uh, I'll just have you do because I know it takes longer because he actually has a few things that he cuts and pastes and I'll just want you just go in and actually follow along coding it it's so it's all good coding practice and that's why I'm not gonna have you do more than 30 minutes because I know it takes longer when you're coding along and, and and the reason I'm doing the code along is to give you that practice of being in the code doesn't it make sense Okay, so then once you're at that 32 uh, point, right, then you'll make sure you do have a, have done before there. So as a matter of fact, you could just around 15 minutes stop, do a commit saying, you know, and maybe give a couple of uh, on your commit message the things that's been covered, just something, and then make sure you do, you'll have to do a commit right before you do your, your push at the end as well. Okay, so then in your your class, your lecture doc, and that's what I've said here, is provide me and I'll make sure I note the commit messages because it'll be a few points off if I only see one commit up on your branch. Because actually at this point I should have seen the commit that you did to push it for the, the hands-on. And then I will see uh, that at least so you, a total of three commits uh, should have been done on this branch. Okay, where am I at? Week seven. All right, so the last item here in this Monday uh, is actually talking about front end frameworks and boy, are there a bunch. So we're gonna use Bootstrap as you already know. So don't cover that one, but I want you to choose one, uh, right? And look at some of the ones available, uh, right? And then, you know, uh, each one of you select something different. So if I see two people select something out of this list and I'm just gonna show you what I did here is I provided you a link two and you can look at the ones from 2016 or here's a link um, on site point for the ones in 2017 the most popular one and of course bootstrap is it which is why I don't want you to do that one uh, but it's good right uh, it's good to know about it but foundation uh, is here right and you can look at these and do some research right so that's always what I have you do is find right and do some research uh, and share your research about these frameworks these other ones that are out there because there are so many these days for front-end development to use so normal uh, writing and replies on this one as well okay so that gives you your first uh, uh, item in week seven so I'll go ahead and work on the next uh, bunch of items because we will continue that crash course and then I'm going to start thinking about how we're going to do the template for this class so I'll work on that next see you later